talks too much. That's what I've always said. Really, how interesting. Who says things like that? I can't take care of everything for everybody. He can't keep anything to himself. Who says things like that? And it's gonna get even worse. Nobody ever asks for more. But with it, the trees and animals- Hey, you! About this weapons dealer. How much- Ask Martin the provisions mask he has been tasked with. You can find Martin in the harp. What are you doing here? Who are you then? Looks like you're new and have no idea what's going on around here. They call me Gabrant. That's Mr. Gabrant, sir, to you. Got it? I will never change. I got it, Gabrant. Careful with that big mouth of yours. You'd better show me a little more respect, or else you're headed for all kinds of trouble here. I call the shots here. Whoever causes trouble has to answer to me. And it better skip town in a hurry, because once I'm done with him, he'll wish he never laid eyes on me. Most people around the harbor work for me. If you're ever looking for work, you would better see to it that my memories of you are pleasant ones. Tell me that isn't true. Anything new? People like you have no business up here. This is where the respectable society resides, and not tramps or crooks. If you should ever succeed in becoming wealthy and respectable, you might find yourself more welcome here. How's business? Not so great. Back when the barrier was still in place, times were better. The prisoners would scrape boxes and boxes of ore from the mines. And my ships then brought it to the mainland. On their way back, they bought food and other wares. But now we're cut off from the mainland and I have to rely on the farmers for supplies. It's a bad business. How do you make a living now? Right now, I'm living off my savings. But if I can't get back into business, times are going to get rough for me. You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? This list of merchandise that I took from a bandit bears your signature. I found this ring of the Overseas Traders Guild, Araxis, with the bandits. You're an overseas trader, and the swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now, I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted for me was food supplies. Business was really slow, so I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. The path of virtue is long and rocky. Oh, don't make me weep. You're pretty repulsive for someone who lives in the upper quarter. You'd sell your soul for a fistful of gold pieces. I've got my expenses to cover. If I don't have cash, they're going to feed me to the mob from the harbor district. The militia is going to deal with you. You can't do this. I should say I can. You'll be amazed. Bye, Enos. I'm ruined. The path of virtue is long and rocky. I never eh, knew that. Been there, done that. You don't have but to he knew that all But so great was the wrath of Beliar that he truth. came across the land and chose the beast. I don't believe this is going to change. That's no secret.
things like that. Nobody wants That's to know. You have no business being here. Get out of here. You have no business being here. Hey, yeah, you're get not away from quite here. as stupid as you look. Anything people if you sh can't rely on that. That's been known a long time. No one really wants to hear that. I'm not telling you anything new. So why won't they listen to me? That doesn't surprise me. Where have you been gadding about for so long? I need more skins. Did you bring any? I've got a few skins for you. Wolf skin, that's good. A warg skin? Those beasts are tough. Ah, even a shadow beast skin. Those are worth a lot. What the hell is this skin? I ripped a troll off for that one. That? That is worth a small fortune. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. Hey, thanks for saving me. Hey. Elvritz will work for you again from now on. I can only hope that he won't disappear again when the next little tart waves her skirt at him. Take this gold as a reward for bringing back my apprentice. Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left. I found the dish that Lucia stole from you. Great! High time I got it back. Don't you want to know what became of Lucia? No! Why? I have got the dish back, haven't I? I have managed without Lucia so far, and I will in the future. Why would I try to make her come back, huh? What about a reward? You get to have a good time with one of my girls for free. What do you say, huh? You don't say. That's what I've always said. That's not enough. Take it, or you'll need to show your face around here again. That's not what my husband thinks. Agreed. Here's your dish. Thanks. Go to Nadja. She'll accompany you upstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't rely on You don't say. Myself. Nobody, Nobody wants, wants to change. know. His deeds were just. Uh, about the weapons dealer? Show me what you have. I found this rapier with the bandits. The letter F is carved on the pommel. The bandits had this ring. It points to an overseas trader. This list of deliveries of weapons and other things to the bandits here is signed by a certain Fernando. Besides that, Fernando, the old trader from the upper quarter, has admitted having done business with the bandits. I think that's enough. Fernando then, well, he'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> and he always acts like butter would melt in his mouth. I'll see to it that he's put away until he rots. Sound work, I must say. Vatris will be glad of this good news. What do you have to offer? Then pay attention.
is true. I heard a thing or two. He that thinks it's as easy as that. Someone's gotta pay for that. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's not what my husband thinks. Honestly. Hey, you! I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? Someone's gotta do the work. Someone's gotta do the work. I need some money, don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the money lender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the Harbor District, where it borders on the lower part of town. About those mi I know what has become of all the missing people. Really? The former ore baron, Raven, had them kidnapped. Are you sure? Then we need to get them out of there. I'm working on it. All right, but you know, whenever you need my help... Then I'll know where to find you. Understood. Everybody knows by now. You don't say. And Enos! About this weapons dealer. I know the dealer who's been selling weapons to the bandits. His name is Fernando. Very good. Has Martin taken the necessary steps to stop him from delivering anymore? Yes. Martin will see to it that he won't be leaving the dungeon anytime soon. Well done, son. Does that mean that you're going to let join the Ring of Water now? That was not what we agreed upon, and you know it. May Adonis light your path. Hey, you! I've got some honey tobacco for you. It is a great pleasure doing business with you.
No secret. I've heard a thing or two. That tune. Think he's gone. I've heard a thing or two. about it differently. Nobody first heard anything from me these days. You have to step in and sort things out. Is it really true? Nobody heard anything from me. Put down that! Oh my God! They're smashing each other's skulls. I'll get you yet. Wait a minute. The two of us should have a chat. Listen, you won. Now leave me alone. It has come to my attention that you have it in for my boys. And as far as I know, you're one of Lee's protégés. I'm warning you. A few things are going to be different around here soon, and we'll talk about this again then. You really let Bullco have it, honey. Must have been an exhausting job to thrash that fat swine. Here, have a bite to eat so you'll gain back your strength. I wouldn't have done that. Can I have some more of your stew? I haven't got any now. Not even a tiny bowl? No. Can I lick the pot, then? Will you cut it out? If you're so keen on my stew, you'll have to do something to get it. What? Go see Sagita, the healer who lives behind Sekob's farm, and bring me a package of her herbs. If you bring me the herbs, I'll make you some stew. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm staying out of it. That's really not my problem. I wouldn't have done that. I don't believe this is going to change. And that's the truth. That's really not my problem. I wouldn't have done that. You just have to listen to what I heard. But he knew that all along. I can't believe that. Is it really true? I can get away with that. Say that why it's not what I heard. You have to step in and sort things out. That's a bad business. I never would have thought of that. No one really wants And there's more, believe me. He didn't get that from me. He doesn't see that. It's totally to the wrong people. I wouldn't have done that. I can't go on like this forever.
Thekla sent me to pick up a package for her. Ah, yes. I had actually expected her days ago. Here's the package. Take good care of it. Hey! What do you want? The trouble is it is. Nobody will learn. Methinks I'm gonna bad. punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been too nice to you so far, haven't I? Oh my god! A fight! Finish him! Show him! I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, do whatever you want. Do you really think? No one really wants trouble as it is. Here's the package from Sagita. Thanks a lot. So you can make yourself useful after all. Can I have some more of your stew? 
All right, I'll be nice then. Here, so you won't starve before my very eyes. How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? I've bested Bulko. I heard. Not bad. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raoul, and he was badly in need of a proper licking. That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. That was no place to be shown a long time. Do you really believe that? I used to say that myself. Thank you.
And that's really the true. truth. Of no, course we got him in. Of course we got him in the end. Right off myself. I never knew that. That's not what I heard. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against you joining. Jarvis thinks you're on the right side. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very reasonable man. Buster says you're okay. And Dar says you're a blabbermouth. But his vote doesn't count for very much here. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. You convinced most of them by passing the test. Although a lot of them say that getting a farmer to pay his rent was too easy for a test. You have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. Obvious all along. I get so worked up. And there's more to it. Is it really true? It's all such a bad business. The things I could tell you. I'm ready to join you. Then you've passed Tarloff's test? Yes. That's good. What did the other mercenaries say? Most of them are on my side. Good. Then go see Onar now. I've already talked with him. But you'll have to negotiate your pay yourself. No idea. You tell me. I've come about Sekob's rent. How the devil would that be your business? I want to become a mercenary. Collecting the rent is my test. But Sekob has no money. I even beat him up. He said it was because of the poor harvest. Yo, nitwit! Do you think he just carries that money around? He's hidden it somewhere. Do you know how much rain we have here? Bad harvest, my ass. Go and beat that money out of him somehow. Thanks to Bulko, you now have a few sheep less. And what are you talking about? Who is Bulko? One of the mercenaries. How would that interest me? If he's been after my sheep, he'll have to answer to Lee. So why are you bugging me with such trivial details? You're revolting against the city, or so I've heard. Now listen up. I inherited this farm and this land from my father and he inherited it from his father. I'm not going to allow that greedy imbecile of a king to make off with all that just in order to feed his useless armies. The war with the orcs has been going on forever. And where do we stand? On the edge of defeat. No, I prefer to defend my farm myself. The money that I save this way can pay for my own army. Lee sent me. I want to work here as a mercenary. He's already talked to me. I already didn't think much of you the first time you asked me. But if Lee thinks you'll do, then I'm willing to give you a chance. He's the one responsible for you, so suit yourself. But no fooling around here. Leave the farmers and the maids alone, and above all, don't nab anything, capiche? For everything else, talk to Lee. All we need to discuss now is your pay. So how about my pay? Well, let's see. I don't think too much of you. You're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. That's obvious from that thing from Sekob. And you're constantly after me with all kinds of bullshit. Let me think. 30 gold pieces. What do you say? Per day? What do you think? Per week? You're really none too bright. So move your butt over here and come get your money. I'm not going to carry it after you. Sounds all right. I think so too. 
Now go see Lee. Onar now has a few sheep less thanks to Bulko. Oh, leave me alone with that shit. I've had enough trouble as it is. I'm ready to join you. Have you seen Onar? He agrees. Welcome aboard. Here, take some decent armor first. I'm glad to have you with us. I already have your first assignment. It has to do with the paladins. It's time you went to see them. You wanted to go there anyway. And how can I get to the Paladins now? Very simple. You'll take our peace offering to them. I know Lord Hagen, the commander of the Paladins, from my time in the Royal Army. I know how he thinks. He doesn't have enough men. He'll accept the offer. At least he'll listen to you. I've written a letter. Here. In any case, that should get you admitted to see the leader of the Paladins. Welcome to the mercenaries, kid. Thanks. As soon as I have something for you to do, I'll let you know. I'm not touching that. No idea. You tell me. I want to improve. I agree with you completely. I'm not touching that. You should really have known better. Well, I'm not touching that. You should really have known better. Hey, you! All over again. It's better to watch anything you tell one. Of course, we got it. Hey! Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Will you look at that? What do you want? Don't think that I respect you now, just because you're one of us. I'll tell you something. No matter what you're wearing, I can see right through you. To me, you're just a greasy little idler, nothing more. What's your problem? I know people of your sort. All talk, no guts. I detest somebody who dresses up all important and brags about his heroic Nothing deeds. Just yesterday, I slugged one of the boys here in the mouth because he claimed he could bring down a black troll with one hand tied behind his back. So what? What's that supposed to mean? So what? Have you ever seen a black troll, Big Mouth? Do you have any idea how big those monsters are, man? If you just get one step too close to them, they'll tear you to pieces. Don't say you didn't know that. Nothing makes them bad anymore. It's just like you said. Black Troll, no problem. You're asking for it, huh? I ought to rip your head off. But I've got a better idea. If you're such a great fighter, then prove it. What's in it for me? Stupid question. Your honor and your jaw in one piece? That's not a whole lot, is it? Shall we say, I'll pay you a ton of money if you bring me the hide of a black troll. How's that sound? Better. Then what are you waiting for? I'm get that for you. I used to say that myself. I can't help it. He thinks it's as easy as that.